does that feel to lose in the NFC Championship game because I don't have a quarterback? Pretty shitty, to be honest. Yeah, that's about it. One more time. How's that feel to lose in the NFC Championship game because I don't have a quarterback? Pretty shitty, to be honest. Yeah, that's about it. George Kittle after the NFC Championship game for the San Francisco 49ers. Pretty shitty. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to say our experiences were the same, but I didn't like watching it. I didn't really enjoy watching it. This is interesting to see Daily Sports Podcast news, narratives, takes, gambling, and other stuff. Um, yeah, Brock Purdy comes out today that he has a torn ukul, uh, UCL, which is something, something ligament. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. It's bad. He'll be out for six months. Um, that means that it's unclear what the Niners are going to do. It seems pretty serious. It seems like something that like baseball people probably have a little bit more than football people. And so, while there was going to be a really fun offseason where we debate what the Niners should do between Brady, Purdy, and Lance, and the takes would have just been flying, we're all going to miss out on that now, I think, because Brock Purdy is injured, and you hope he gets better, and you hope the best for him, and blah, blah, blah. And now the Eagles are playing the Chiefs in the Super Bowl, and there will be weeks and weeks to discuss the storylines of Chiefs and Eagles. We can start with, hey, did you know that the Chiefs head coach used to coach for the Eagles, and did you know that the... Best player for the Chiefs. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Kelsey's better than Mahomes at his position. Genuinely think that. Mahomes has contemporaries. Kelsey doesn't. I don't think that's a hot take. Whatever. Did you know that the best player for the Chiefs and the best player for the Eagles? They're brothers. Yeah, crazy. They're from Ohio. There have never been any brothers from Ohio that play football. I can't think of any. Can anybody else think of any brothers that have a connection to Ohio that play football? Ever? No, nobody can. So, we have a long time for that. Let's see what the line... The line for the Super Bowl is the most interesting thing because it's been going back and forth. The game opened with the... I believe the game opened with the Chiefs as favorites that everyone was like, wait, the Chiefs are favorites? No, but on the Eagles... Now, the Eagles are favorites. It's been between like one and a half in either direction. So, right now, the Eagles are favored by minus one and a half. I think we have a situation in the NFL right now where the best player is playing against the best team where the only player for the Chiefs that would genuinely make an enormous impact for the Eagles are Mahomes and Kelsey. Other th- and, the, and the people that they would replace, Chris Jones for the Chiefs is really good, but the only players that they would replace for the Eagles are also really good. Jones probably starts on the defensive line for the Eagles, but the Eagles defensive line is the best pass rushing defensive line in like 40 years. So I think they're fine. The only teams with more sacks than the Eagles through this many games, which, I mean, they've already officially played as many games as you can theoretically play because they've added the 17th game. The only teams with as many or more sacks than this Eagles team were the 84 Bears and the 85 Bears. Have you heard of them? Okay, so there's a line. Minus one and a half. Plus one and a half. We're going to go through all of the fun... Alternative stuff, the, the side bets. I love that kind of shit. It's so much fun. Okay, we had a trade in the NHL yesterday. We're going to start getting the NHL. Dude, Bo, Bo Horvat from the Canucks, who's like the worst organization in professional hockey. He has been traded to the Islanders for a slew of things, including a first-round pick and some prospects. You know, whatever. The Canucks are going to rebuild. They, they really are. They just have been a garbage, garbage organization for about 10 years now, it feels like. Maybe a little less, but just can't be really taken seriously, which is, you know, makes me sad. All these Canadian organizations can't do anything right. NBA trade deadline is approaching. I think today is Tuesday. So that means that we are a week and a few hours away from the NBA trade deadline. Um, This is a list from CBS Sports NBA, the top 20 players that could be traded that are interesting. I don't agree or disagree with the list. It seems fine. It seems like everybody thinks that OG Ananobi is on the block. Uh, for sure, he's going to be moved. That's what everyone thinks. The other person that everyone thinks is uh, Gary Grant Jr. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're going to pay attention to this. Right now, the question is like, <laughs> what's going to happen with the Lakers? Maybe Russell Westbrook gets traded because he's been a disaster and he's been, he's been working his ass off. He just isn't very good anymore. And LeBron hates him. And LeBron is like one of the worst GMs in the NBA. So we'll see what happens with that. Jim Harbaugh was interviewing. Remember we covered the thing with the Panthers. He was like, I don't want to be 
I want to be a head coach. The Panthers are like, all right, we'll interview you. And they were like, <laughs> bye. And then they hired Frank Reich. Well, he apparently was talking to Denver, and then he wasn't. And then he said, Michigan, I'm coming back. And then now he's talking with Denver again. What a disaster. God, I if Jim Harbaugh goes to the NFL to coach Russell Wilson, the content is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Could you imagine Jim Harbaugh getting so mad at Andy Reid for just running up the score? Holy shit. I'm so excited. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think anyone wants him as head coach. I don't think Russell Wilson's going to be like, yeah, all this money and this brand I'm building for myself, I totally care about what you think about trenchal warfare football, totally for sure. Definitely, please tell me more about your opinions. And then all of those Alabama guys they have on their team are going to be like, yeah, we'll run that play. You're smart. I just don't think the guys are going to respect him. Maybe I could be wrong. I mean, I could be dead wrong. I just don't think people are going to respect him. I don't think players are going to respect him. When they make more money than you, then that that's literally the thing that matters. Other news yesterday. Um... This isn't a sports thing. I just, I mean, it's a, I like to report a murder. Bob Woodward, the journalist who did the whole Watergate thing, told, this is the, he tweeted this out yesterday. Like, I literally thought this was so funny. I could have not put it on a sports show. Since Donald Trump is suing me, I reveal something I've never revealed before about a public figure. The scent barrier on his depends is completely insufficient. That is hilarious. Okay. (laughs) Oh, man. Did you know, fun fact, the Super Bowl champion will have more wins at home than the Cardinals did? I don't know if that's true. That's just what someone said on, on, on the internet. Joe Burrow had to come out today or yesterday and say that he respects the Chiefs. That there was enough shit talking going on after the game yesterday that he had to come out and publicly say, I we we of course the shit talking doesn't mean we don't respect them. Like, guys, duh. Duh. Guys, of course they respect. It's fun. Can we not have a rivalry? Does not, everything doesn't have to be the Crips and the Bloods, dude. This is not the NBA. It doesn't have to be, like, personal. It can be enjoyably. They can hate each other on the field and still be bros. Like, it, that can happen. It can be fine. Which is what we're all rooting for. Rivalries are so much fun. Just let it be a rivalry. There's no reason for it not to just be a fun rinky-dink little rivalries. Some teams out there are still looking for head coaches. I believe the Colts haven't announced anyone. Broncos haven't announced anyone. Cardinals haven't announced anyone. I'm forgetting anybody. I don't think that I am. The Panthers, of course, go with Frank Reich. What a great hire that is. Uh, The Cowboys fired their offensive coordinator as if that's going to solve any of the problems. Remember, we discussed that. He's now the offensive coordinator of the Chargers, which is also hilarious because that's not like that's going to solve their problems. Their problem is their head coach doesn't understand what's going on anymore. Yeah, he's kind of cowers when it's time to cower, and he's cocky when it doesn't really matter. Like, there's a lot of problems that they have. He's got to get better, but he just hasn't gotten better. So we'll see. I don't think that's going to fix anything for them, but there goes Kellen Moore, a guy that was going to be a head coach is now not going to be a head coach. Premier League is... Raging on Arsenal, the top of the table over there in England. I don't really, we're not going to cover any of the other leagues. I know that they're important, but my guess is that uh, Madrid and Barcelona are going to be good. Paris, Saint Germain is going to be good, and Juventus is going to be good. That's my guess. It's always the same way. I'm so excited for Controversial Wednesday. I have something stupid for you. <laughs> I have one of the stupider stories I've ever told, but we're going to talk about it. Novak Djokovic, uh, I think we mentioned this, won the Australian Open. This gives him tied. I believe, for the most major somethings. And now the only way that Nadal keeps pace is to win at Roland Garros, where he's essentially undefeated. And I don't understand how he's so goddamn good in France, but he just is. And no one, the crazy thing is that no one has been able to catch him at this. No one has been able to catch Rafael Nadal in France at being good at this. It makes no sense to me how you've had like a decade, essentially, of people chasing this guy at this one place. He's also good everywhere else, but he's not as good. It's really crazy. All of these guys are chasing this one guy, and that guy has been putting tape out there for a decade, and no one can fucking beat him at this thing. It is absolutely bananas. 
simple show for you today. We are, as I scroll Twitter, we are going to get out of here on this. Yeah, there's not a lot going on. I mean, we're all what's happening right now is we're all very hungover from football season. There's one game left. Thank God. We'll start getting into mock drafts in the NBA and the NHL. Don't really matter until the trade deadline. Right around Valentine's Day is when you can kind of figure out what's going to go on in the NHL. And then in, in the NBA, we've known who's relevant and not relevant for a long time. It is the most exciting NBA season um, in recent memory. Um, just because there are a number of teams that could win. It wouldn't be crazy if a lot of them won, which is enjoyable as Steph Curry and LeBron James get older and Kawhi Leonard is what he is and kind of getting older also. It seems like there's more parity, which is something that there hasn't really been in a while. I've got this... <laughs> This picture of this guy on the Islanders just pulling his tooth out during a shift. I'm like, oh, that sucks, God damn it! And he just gives it to the trainer. The trainer looks at it. He's like, yeah, it's a tooth. What do you want me to do with it? I'm like, I don't know. Throw it, throw it in the trash, man. The hockey Twitter. Every time someone gets hurt and they don't go back in, they're like, well, a hockey player once got shot in the face and went back in. Like, yes, that is true. But you having to remind people about this makes it so much less cool. Like, obviously, well, a hockey guy, like, okay, yes, yes, yes. Shaq, his toe, and then a hockey guy, and his face, sure. But if you do that on the internet, then you look like the softie. Stop it. All right, back and better than ever tomorrow. <laughs>